If you're confused about getting and spending money here in London as a foreigner, I'm gonna explain some things that you need to know. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jess and I make videos for people who are coming to visit London and I'll have a special freebie for you at the end of this video. Okay, let's start with the basics. The currency here in the UK is the Great British Pound and the symbol that's used to show the pound is this one right here. How much the pound is worth compared to the currency in your home country fluctuates every single day. So just use a currency converter website or app to figure it out for yourself. If you hear somebody say quid, that's just slang for pounds, which is kind of like how Americans say buck. And 100p or 100 pence go into one pound. The smallest paper bill in the UK is five pounds and all of smaller denominations are in coins, including two pounds and one pound. Okay, in terms of getting cash for your trip, London is very, very card friendly. So unlike other places in Europe where you always need to make sure you have a nice chunk of cash on you, you don't really need to have that much here because even small street vendors will accept card. Here's what I recommend that you do to make sure you do have at least some cash on you when you're here in London. Back when you're at home before your trip, go to your bank and order some cash in pounds. I would say get about 50 pounds per person that you're going to be traveling with. And your bank will probably give you a decent rate, so that's a great place to get it. Then when you're here in London, if you end up needing more cash, just use your debit card and go to one of the cash machines here and get cash that way. I don't recommend that you bring cash in your home currency to the UK to exchange. You just don't wanna really be carrying a lot of cash around with you anyway. Plus it's a kind of a whole ordeal to find a currency exchange place to be able to exchange it and at a decent rate. If you need to get cash while you're in London and you need to find a cash machine, try to find one that's associated with a bank. Those ones typically will never charge you money to withdraw anything from your bank account. And if the cash machine asks if you want to withdraw in your home currency or in pounds, always go in pounds because sometimes the conversion rate in the ATM isn't very good and you'll actually lose a lot of money. So about using debit and credit cards in London. Like I said, London is very card friendly. It's so much that I barely ever have any cash on me, but what you'll want to do before you come over here is to check with your bank to see what kind of foreign transaction fees you're going to get if you use your card over here. You'll also want to notify your bank that you're going to be abroad. So when you start using your card over here, they don't think that it was stolen and completely cancel it on you. And you want to ask if they have any partner banks here in the UK, because sometimes your bank won't charge you for cash withdrawal if you use one of their partner banks abroad and use one of their cash machines. Depending on what kind of foreign transaction fee your bank charges every time you use your card abroad, you might want to actually consider getting a separate card for travel that doesn't have any fees. There are lots out there and every country has different options, but you can start with the company TravelX and see if they have anything available in your country, but you'll be able to find other stuff with just a quick Google search. If it's your first time in London, I have a free London 101 guide that you can grab by clicking the card that's popping up in the corner of the screen here. And for more tips for your trip to London, then click on the video that is popping up right below me. You should always withdraw in your home. No, that's not right. That's wrong. Woo! Ass. Oh my God, <laughs> look at that sign. Okay, relax, relax, wind, relax.